Before we get started, I'm sure you heard the news that Trump, the president-elect, has named former presidential candidate Dr. Ben Carson as the Secretary of Housing and Urban Development. You know, Mr. Carson, a retired neurosurgeon, openly criticized the Department of Fair Housing. Although he doesn't have experience in running an agency nor in housing, he is a phenomenal human being and has done amazing things in the medical industry and should find that he brings some interesting concepts to the market. He grew up in a low-income housing project of Chicago. It's unclear as to what a Carson influence is going to have on the agency, but he was the most vocal candidate that talked about housing during the primary election. It will be exciting to see what it is. In recent months, we've looked at the 2017 housing market forecast, and then we had an election that possibly could change the market unidentifiably, but we don't really know. So I think it's notable to still look at the October national home sales. According to the NAR, National Association of Realtors, the U.S. home resale rose in October to their highest level in more than nine and a half years since February of 2007. Spurred by improving labor markets, home buyers took advantage of the still low mortgage rates to purchase properties after many were shut out during the bidding wars of the summer selling season. This jump in sales was further evidence of a pickup in economic growth early in the fourth quarter. Definitely a sign of consumer confidence, the October existing home sales rose 2% to an annual rate of 5.6 million units. NAR attributes this rise in sales to unrealized pent-up demand. New listings in October typically stayed on the market for 41 days, up from 39 days in September, but down from 57 days a year ago. Economists had forecast sales slipping rather than increasing. Sales were up 5.9% from a year ago, rising in all four regions. The report came on the heels of data last week showing a surge in housing starts. It also added to strong reports on retail sales and the labor market as well as improving manufacturing surveys in suggesting the economy continue to gain speed early in the fourth quarter. Rising home sales suggest an increase in brokers commission which should boost the residential construction component in the government's gross domestic product report although october was awesome news november's numbers will give us more insight in what to expect in the first quarter of 2017 now for minding your own business I recently read an article online called The 25 Experts Share Top 3 Content Marketing Trends for 2017. Right? You want to know what that is? The 25 experts were asked, what are the top three content marketing trends for the coming year? The consensus boiled down to, number one, segmentation or personalization. Content that is actually created and focused on specific people or groups. This allows the content to be of as much value as possible to the individual reader. Number two, interactive content. Well-designed and developed content that enables readers to choose different paths in the content, click on the sections that are of interest or applicable to them, and that are more entertaining than the standard text heavy content we see today. Number three, social media and streaming live. Live events will set huge attendance records and companies will all try to get more live events into their mix of content types. Number four, video, video, video. We believe in it. Whether it's YouTube video, Facebook live, Periscope, or even texting, video from your phone to your clients is gonna be powerful. It's key. Well, that's it for another edition of the Real Estate Insider Weekly. Thanks for watching. See you next week and have a great day.